This is Scott Geitler. I'm the owner of Blue Water Photo and our new sister company, Blue Water Travel. And today I'm going to talk about the Olympus OMD EM10 and the Nauticam housing for the EM10. Before I delve into the housing, let's talk about the camera for a moment. The, the EM10 is a mirrorless camera and it's the, the, the baby brother to the Olympus EM1. Um, and it's also related a sibling to the EM5. Now there's a lot of models, so let's get these straightened out. The EM10 has the same exact sensor and image processor as the EM1. So the EM10 and the EM1 are gonna take the same exact photo underwater. It has the same fast focusing. Um, you basically have almost DSLR um, quality images from a very small compact mirrorless camera. Um, there's a big difference in price. The camera and the housing for the EM10 is a good amount less expensive for the EM, than the EM1. So the EM10 is a very viable option if you're on a budget and you want to save some more money for lenses or strobes or video lights. Um, the main difference between the EM10 and the EM1 is the EM1 has a faster sync speed. It's 1 3 20th instead of 1 200th which will usually only come into play if you're shooting wide angle photos with a bright sun in the photo when it really helps to be able to increase your sync speed. The other difference that doesn't really apply to underwater applies on land is that the image stabilization is three axis in the EM10 in terms, and five axis in the EM1. So it's slightly better image stabilization, but overall the EM10 is a really good camera. It's at a great price. The housing at 1450 is a great at a great price, and it's a very small housing. Um, let's take a look at this. Um, I've been shooting with a lot of the Nauticam mirrorless housings, like the EM10 and EM1 underwater, and I really like them a lot. They're easy to use. It's light. It's easy to maneuver and easy to travel with. Um, all the Nauticam housings. One thing I like is it's really easy to remove the ports. Um, you just go like that port comes off, push a port on, close. There's a lens release here, so to change lenses, it's literally one minute. It's really simple. It's just, it's a really, really nice feature. Opening the housing, turn that, it opens. You can check your O-ring. You have a nice little camera tray. Slide it in, close it, lock it, Again, it's a very, very easy to use housing. You have full functionality out of all the controls, all the dials, the ergonomics are really well. It comes with a leak detector. You have a hot shoe mount um, to put a ball on the top. You have an M10 to put a second ball for a second GoPro or video light. Um, you even have a place for an optional sync cord, although, um, I do not recommend using a sync cord with this camera and uh, if you want more details about that you can call me and I'll, I'll tell you why. You can pop the flash up and down, um, zooming is nice and the lens selection for all the Olympus mirrorless cameras is excellent. You have the 8mm fisheye lens for ultra wide angle, you have 7 to 14 and 9 to 18 millimeter lenses for wide angle and sharks and sea lions. You have the 12 to 50 as a mid-range lens, and you have the Olympus 60 millimeter macro. I really love for a macro. So overall, these Olympus mirrorless setups are um, becoming really, really popular, and the, the Nonacam housings are an outstanding choice. On our website, you'll see a lot of photos. Myself and my coworkers have been taken with the, the EM10 and the EM1, and again, you, they have the same sensor, you're going to be getting the exact same images with both these cameras. This is just a little smaller, a little less expensive. Um, I think of the EM1 as the, the pro version of the EM10. Um, if you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to, to call us or contact us via phone or email. You can get all the contact information at www.bluewaterphotostore.com. And thanks for viewing the video.